So, Windows 11. Microsoft's latest operating system that somehow feels like Windows 10 got a haircut and called it a personality. Look, I don't hate Windows 11, but let's be honest, it's like eating plain oatmeal. It's fine, it works, but nobody's really excited for it. So today we're going to fix Windows using three tools that will make your PC look and run better. Now, Windows 11 comes with more pre-installed junk than a hoarder's garage. We're talking about apps you never asked for, features you'll never use, and probably some telemetry that's definitely not watching you. Now, first up, we're tackling the bloatware situation with the Chris Titus Tech Windows Utility. And before you ask, yes, there's a guy named Chris Titus. Yes, he did make this tool. And yes, it is awesome. Now, to get this running, we are going to open PowerShell as admin. So just come down here, search for PowerShell, right click, and run as administrator. I know it's scary, but you can do it. Now, all you have to do is paste the magical spell. And yes, paste, because I saw you down there digging in my description. Anyway, hit enter, and boom, it opens up just like a Windows wizard. And surprisingly, this is a lot better than a Windows wizard. And in the install tab, you can actually grab some useful stuff like Firefox. You can get Discord. There's plenty of development tools here, games, all the stuff that should have come with Microsoft in the first place maybe minus the game stuff, but the real magic is in this tweaks tab. And this tab, ladies and gentlemen, is where we separate the regular everyday user from people who spend too much time on Reddit. Now, I usually go with minimal just because that's my preference, but if you guys wanna get a little spicy, you can go in here and check every single thing. Just make sure that you know what you're doing first. I mean, you can even disable telemetry, which is Microsoft's fancy words for we're always watching. And you can remove game DVR if you're not that much of a gamer and you really don't care about having all the Microsoft Xbox gaming stuff on your PC. I mean, there's just like any and every setting you could ever want in here. And it's just, ah, uh, it's beautiful. And once you're done selecting your tweaks, which I'm just going to leave mine here, all you hit is run tweaks. Once you run that, you can go back over to the PowerShell menu. Let me move this out of the way. And you can see it's doing some work Back here and just like that your windows 11 is done with its weird juice cleanse detox all right so we've cleaned up windows but it still looks like windows so this is where rectify 11 comes in rectify 11 is basically a theme pack on steroids that makes windows 11 actually look consistent because apparently microsoft's design team couldn't figure out if we're doing rounded corners sharp corners retro modern it's like if you asked them what they wanted they just said yes anyway head to this page here for rectify 11 which i will leave down in the description as well and you'll want to go over to the releases tab and it'll say download the latest build of rectify 11 here and it will go ahead and download rectify 11 for you and a fair warning this is going to modify system files so do the adult thing back up your files i believe in you so once that's done we'll go ahead and open this up and extract and we'll open this up and we'll run the Rectify 11 installer. Now it'll say Windows protected your PC, all this kind of stuff, and you'll just hit that and run anyway. It's not a virus, I promise. And it'll ask you if you if it wants to make changes to your system, just hit yes. It sounds scary, but I promise it's fine. And then it'll come up with this window, install, rectify your current Windows installation. Yes, I would love to. And it'll tell you to disable Windows Defender and then to re-enable after you install Rectify 11, just because it's modifying system files, so it's going to think it's a virus. It's it's not, it's fine, I promise. <laughs> and we'll agree to the license statement. We can choose literally anything that we want to be rectified through these items here. Now, I usually just go for the system icons and themes, but this time I'm not gonna go for themes just because I don't want them. I currently like how my windows looks, but I am going to get some of these extras like the enhanced context menus, rectified gadgets, accent window, colorizing, and remastered user avatars. And then once you have everything selected that you want, you'll hit next. And you have some options here to choose between your context menu styles. You can go with the enhanced fluent menus. These are kind of just like the regular Windows 11 menus. You can get the enhanced fluent menus, all items in root, or you can get the classic context menus, which a lot of people want back. Microsoft, please listen to people. Or you can get a little bit fancy and have your classic menus, but with a little bit of transparency. And this is the one that I am personally going to go with. So we'll hit next and we will obviously create a restore point. Like I said, always create a restore point before you do anything that messes with your system files and we'll go ahead and install and as you can see down here it will create a restore point now this may take a minute to fully install so go grab a snack pet your dog or your cat i'm not judging now it's going to ask you to restart your computer once it's finished so restart your computer 
And look at this. Windows 11 actually looks good. The icons match, the corners are consistently rounded, and the file explorer doesn't look like a relic from 2012. And everything just feels more polished, like Windows 11 should have been from the start. Take notes, Microsoft. Okay, we've cleaned Windows, we've polished it up, but now we make it look cool. Enter Rain Meter and Jax Core. If you've never heard of Rain Meter, it's basically a desktop widget, but actually customizable and not whatever Windows was trying to do with widgets. So first go to rainmeter.net and hit download. It's free, it's open source, it's beautiful. It's all the things. We'll go ahead and install this and standard installation is fine. We don't really want portable because obviously I'm not gonna be porting my desktop anywhere soon. And I am going to personally install this in a different folder where I store all of my applications, but you guys can store this wherever you would like to. And we will go ahead and install and it will ask you to make changes. Just hit yes, just like we did last time. And we'll go ahead and run Rain Meter. Now Rain Meter is just the engine. You actually need skins to do the fun stuff. And this is where Jax Core comes in. Jax Core is like the premium DLC for Rain Meter, except it's free. It's got system monitors, music visualizers, app launchers, all the fancy stuff to make you look like a hacker or someone who's trying just way too hard to look like one. Now all you have to do is head over to jaxcore.app again in the description and hit download. It'll give you this notice that the download has begun and you'll hit this jaxcore.bat and run. It'll pop up this little window in PowerShell. Jaxcore recommends that you turn on hardware acceleration so we will hit Y and press enter. And once that's downloaded, it will automatically launch Jaxcore. So we'll go ahead and hit get started and we will continue and we can can proceed and it'll ask you for a few things here but I'll just say I'll get them later now my friends this is where the fun begins now just as an example I've installed overlayer here and once we toggle this on you can see that you can do some pretty cool stuff not that this is super practical just something pretty to look at <laughs> all right so I've installed modular clock so we can go ahead and enable this and then we can go down here in the size options and font and everything and you can change around the colors and do pretty much anything you want you can create layers and everything with overlayer but we are not gonna do that. We are going to go back to our modular clocks and you can see all these different pre-made styles down here. We're just gonna stick with this one. And as you've seen before, we can just drag and drop this wherever we want. Let's put that right in the middle. And if you don't want these default ones here, you can right click and hit unload skin. And if nothing in Jack's core piques your interest, you can come over to visualskins.com for some rain meter skins. Personally, I'm a big fan of this Mond rain meter theme. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this and it will, it will download an RM skin file. All you have to do is click it and install. And once you do that, it will automatically apply the settings to your desktop desktop and in here you can customize your text color your player button colors you can change this to celsius fahrenheit for me it is fahrenheit 24 hour clock 12 hour clock i prefer 12 hour clock and you can enter your weather here so you can have all that information pretty much you can customize this to your heart's content but pro tip don't go too crazy or else you'll end up blocking everything on your desktop and not be able to see anything but look at this ladies and gentlemen we went from boring standard windows 11 to customized optimized actually interesting windows 11. so there you have it we debloated with the chris titus tool made windows actually pretty with rectify 11 and added some personality with rain meter and jacks core is it necessary? Absolutely not. Did we do it anyway? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Now, a couple of disclaimers because YouTube does make me say these things. Modifying system files can break your system. So make sure that you are creating restore points and don't blame me if your computer turns into a sentient AI that judges your browser history. But if you want more videos about me making Windows less boring, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button and comment any other tech stuff you want me to break, I mean fix. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have 17 more rain meter skins to add to my computer.